Okay, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to talk about how to build simple FPV systems. So the first segment I'll talk about the transmitter system and the second segment I'll talk about the ground station. So before we even talk about anything there are five basic rules in FPV that I have made up. So the first rule, this is a transmitter, so make sure your antenna is plugged into the transmitter before powering it. That's the first rule. It's really easy to remember, but people tend to forget that. The second rule is, is to make sure you have the correct amount of power going to your transmitter. So most of these transmitters, they work on a three cell battery, and that's what I have here. So, what I do is, on most systems, if I'm running a three cell on my quadcopter, which I usually do, I get this splitter. It's called the T connector splitter, and this will allow you to run your FPV system and your quadcopter, or RC, or car, or airplane at the same time. So, you don't have two batteries. So, that's all this does. So, it makes things really simple and it makes it lighter. The third rule is, is to make sure that your transmitter is on a legal frequency. So, like in the United States, there are some frequencies that you're not allowed to use. Um, but, so just make sure that you're on a legal frequency. So I think 1258 and 1280 are legal in the States. The fourth rule is, is to make sure that your transmitter and your ground station are on the same frequency. So it's a really simple rule, but uh, so if you're running a 5.8 gigahertz system, that you'll want the transmitter that can run on the same frequencies. And the fifth rule is, is one of the most important rules, is that you're either going to run two linear polarized antennas, which is this one right here, your ground station and your transmitter, or you're going to run two circular polarized antennas. So your ground station and transmitter have to be the same type. So that's all there is. They're circular and they're polarized. And with these linear, you'll be able to tell. Most things come stock with the linear antennas and they'll just look like this this little uh, long antenna. So that's pretty much it. So I usually run the circular polarized antennas because they are actually they deal with interference a little bit better than the linear but interesting enough is that the linear if you're flying straight and these things will actually transmit at a longer distance if you're flying straight with no interference but 99% of the time you're probably not doing that so I would recommend the circular polarized antennas. So the first system that we'll look at is this boss cam and it's an FPV transmitter built in with a camera and the great thing about this kind of system is that it has a micro SD card slot so you can record the video feed at the same time you're transmitting the video to your goggles or TV at the ground station. Excellent beginner FPV system. So this runs at 200 milliwatts and it comes with the factory linear polarized antenna at 5.8 gigahertz. But keep in mind you can also change out these antennas. So if you want a circular and polarized antenna like this one on there, this is also 5.8 gigahertz. This is RX, but there should be a TX one. Um, but it'll look exactly the same. So if you want to change them out, that's okay. The second type of transmitter system I have here is this is a transmitter with just an antenna. It's an RMRC 800 milliwatts, so it's got quite a bit of power. This thing's pretty hefty. So for this, you're probably thinking, well, 
how the heck do I get this to work? Because I just got these cables in here that come with it and I can't plug that into my camera. Well, there's a way to do this. So, I bought this from Ready Made RC because they build these cables already. So, you can buy this cable here. It's just a TX cable and it has the power for the transmitter. And this will also work for the camera too, keep that in mind. So, I'll just plug it in here. Okay, so now what do we do? And we got these two cables here. And let's just use this camera as an example. So, I want to plug this thing into there. This ready-made RC, uh, RMRC Pro 700 camera. I want to plug this into the transmitter. So how do I do that? Well, you have to buy an audio and a video jumper cable. So, once you buy those two jumper cables, you go like this. And you plug in the other one. And now we only need the camera cable to go from these jumpers to this camera. So that's what this cable is for. This is the camera cable now. So we plug this into our camera. This is not a recording camera, but this is still this is still a good setup if you're just doing something really small. They actually make micro FPV systems, which is really interesting. So I'll plug these into the jumpers now. And there is our FPV system right here. So let's say you want to hook up a GoPro camera to the system. Well, all we do is we change out the camera cable. And you can buy the GoPro camera cable at ReadyMade Ready RC also. So we just get the ReadyMade RC cable, GoPro camera. Um, you can use the GoPro Hero 4 also with this and the GoPro Hero 3. So we just plug it in here. And once you plug it in there, you can plug it into this port here. And now this GoPro Hero camera, it will transmit and it will also record the video feed at the same time, if that's what you want to do. There's also another camera system that you can use for that. Um, these keychain cameras will also do that, but you'll have to get the cable for it. And the Mobius action camera will also record and give you live feed. So all those cameras do that same thing. Now the interesting thing is, is with this kind of setup, the GoPro Hero, there are uh, gimbal systems that you can use, and you can use your goggles to actually track the camera on a three axis while using your goggles. And so if you look up, the camera will look up, and if you look down, the camera will look down. So that's what those uh, three axis gyro gyroscopes will do. They're really cool, but that's more an advanced setup. I'll talk about that in a different tutorial. Okay, so one of the systems that you can have for a ground station is you can have these fat shark goggles, and these will receive the video signal. The most important thing for whatever you're receiving the video signal is, is that it doesn't go to a blue screen. So you can use a TV or whatever you want as long as it does not go to a blue screen when there's uh, signal degradation because that's really important. So with these fat shark goggles, so typically guys do, I don't have the system on here because I like to go long range, but you can have an antenna mounted here and you can have a head tracker system in it as well. And it, you can have a battery pack that's isolated for it too. So this can be a total isolated system without any wires or whatever. So that's a good system to have. Okay, for the next system, it's more of a long range type of system. This is what I use now. So this will give you ultimate range. So 
Although you have lots of wires kind of involved here, it's it's uh, far better than what any kind of mount that you'll have on a Fat Shark goggles for the antenna, because your antennas are probably one of the most important components of anything in an FPV. So what I do here is I just use a circ. This is a circular. This is a crosshair antenna. So this will give you uh, five kilometers to seven kilometers. This is a good antenna. Um, you'll probably exceed your standard remote system, so you'll probably need UHF for this if you're using an aerial vehicle. And you power this with a three cell battery. And this three cell battery will also power your goggles with this system. I bought this from ReadyMade RC also. I like to use them because they're based in the States and they're immediate shipping. They've been pretty good, so you just put these two in here and now you got power and now you got video and you got the screen on in there so that's that's uh, the system I use so you're probably wondering well what what the heck is the best antenna out there f like for range and I actually have one of those and it's called a pepper box antenna. This is a 1280 antenna. So it's circular polarized and this will work extreme ranges like I'm talking like this thing will go 20 kilometers if you have clear skies with a uh, clear distance to your aerial vehicle. This thing is insane. So if you need anything more than this you can custom build something yourself which is possible. But keep in mind, when you're getting into this stuff, you'll need a UHF system. And UHF is an add-on to your remote. So you're getting into crazy stuff. And this, this is antenna is actually built by IB Crazy. So he's really good in building stuff. I like using his antennas. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, so if you liked the video, uh, subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks for watching.